Hello guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I am just getting ready to bake my traditional Jamaican black or fruit cake. The first thing I'm going to do is weigh out my fruits. So in order to grind the fruit in the food processor, I will be using a little prune nectar and some red label and some overproof Jamaican rum. Just enough so that the food processor won't get stuck with the, the foods inside of it. I don't want most of them to be whole when I'm done, but I don't want them to be crushed too finely. So what it looks like. So there are still chunks of raisins and prunes. Not too fine, just right. If you don't want it to be too liquidy, you want it to have some body. Okay. Okay, the fruits are ready. It's about time to start the mixture for the cake. So I have prepared all the ingredients here and I have all my dry ingredients here. I have my eggs here and I have the butter and sugar in the bowl. So that's what I'm going to start creaming first until it's pretty smooth. Now it's time to start adding my dry ingredients. I will be using molasses for my food coloring. So I made sure I accounted for that when I added the sugar. Because the molasses will add not only color but sweetness. I think it's about time I start preheating my oven now. So guys, I'm getting ready to put the cakes in. So I am greasing the pans with some oil and then I'm gonna flour them. Now, I this is how I grew up with my mom doing it. 
most often now we use parchment paper so you can either use parchment paper or you can grease your pan and flour it that's how i'm gonna do it because that's how my mama did it <laughs> Now I'm going to pour my cakes. Okay, we're ready to put them into the oven. So the cakes are done, guys. And I got two six-inch cakes, an Asian cake, and a 10-inch cake from the batter that I mixed up. But guess what? The 10 inch cake that I, I made I opted to steam and all I did was to get a bigger pan a smaller pan and I put the batter in the smaller pan then I poured boiling water in the bigger pan not more than around halfway of the smaller pan on the inside then I put it in the bottom of the oven and covered it with a tin sheet and so it steamed a lovely cake which has more of a pudding consistency while the other ones are a bit they're dense too because they are fruit cakes but they are not as dense as the one that was steamed okay so we can't wait to dig into this and I really do hope that you try my Jamaican Christmas fruitcake recipe and make some fruitcakes for yourself. Now guys, thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and tell somebody about it. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe man and don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos now you take care i'll see you in the next video